First introduced way back in the year 2000 in Microsoft Windows Millennium Edition, System Restore, which is still available to this day in Windows 10 and Windows 11, can revert your PC state to a previous point in time. This is especially useful when troubleshooting issues caused by recent changes, such as driver updates, software installations, or system settings modifications. In short, System Restore reverts your system files, registry settings, and install programs to the state they were in at the time the restore point was created. This is a valuable tool for recovering from unexpected issues. And if I were to guess, I probably had to use System Restore more than 100 times over the years. I'll now show you how to enable System Restore. The steps to do this are the same on both Windows 10 and Windows 11. Go to Search in the taskbar and type Create a Restore Point. In the results, click on it. Make sure the System Protection tab is selected at the top. In Protection Settings, select your system drive. For most of you, that will be your C drive. After selecting it, click on Configure. In Restore Settings, select Turn on System Protection. In Disk Space Usage, you can set the maximum disk space that is used for system protection. Each individual restore point is approximately 1 GB of disk space. Personally, over the years, I have found that up to 10 restore points is doable without taking up too much space on your drive. So I recommend adjusting the slider to a percentage that uses a little bit more than 10 gigabytes of space, which in this case on this computer is 3%, 13.84 gigabytes. When you're done with that, click the apply button, then click on okay. After completing these steps, Windows will automatically create a restore point when applying system updates or making specific system changes. If you plan to install any third-party software, install a new driver, or reconfigure system settings in Windows, I highly recommend that you manually create a new system restore point prior to installing or making any changes, especially if you plan to make any changes to the registry. In System Properties, which I showed you how to get here earlier, go to Protection Settings and select your system drive. Then under Configure, click on Create. Give the restore point a descriptive name, for example, before installing software or before changing registry. When you know that, click on Create. When it's done, you'll get this box that says the restore point was created successfully. Click on Close. Close out system properties, click OK. If changing any settings or an installation of new software or a driver update has caused an unexpected problem, you can use a restore point to roll back to an earlier time to undo any changes and fix the problem. To do this, once again, in the search box, type create a restore point, select it, Make sure the System Protection tab is selected here at the top and select the System Restore button. You could select the recommended restore and click on Next, but it will not always be the most recent restore point. If it isn't and you want the newest one, select Choose a different restore point and click on Next. These are the two most recent. If you want to see additional restore points, select the box next to Show more restore points. Now select the restore point that you want to undo changes in Windows. Then click on Next. I won't be doing this now, but once you click on Finish, it'll complete the steps to restore your computer to a point when it was in a good working state. If a program was the cause of your problem and you did the restore point to undo the changes, you will have to reinstall that program manually. Thanks for watching. If this video was useful for you, do us a favor and give it a thumbs up and share it with others. If you're new to our channel and haven't done so already, I invite you to subscribe and hit that notification icon to not miss out on our latest videos about Windows and other tech-related stuff.